Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about my Halloween decor and how I was able to pull off this Halloween decor on a budget. So if you guys are new to my channel and you wanna see how I created this look, please feel free to keep watching. Make sure you subscribe and share and join our family. Here's a little sneak peek of what it looked like before. This is my house on a normal day except for my son hung up that scary thing in the back. I went ahead and turned everything into somewhat of a spooky vibe. That's what I was going for. So mostly just spooky stuff, not really like a Halloween theme. So nothing with pumpkins or something like that, more just a spooky vibe. So I decided to get up and clean everything. Uh, if you guys have kids, then you know that your children never let you do anything in peace. I have six kids, again, for the people that are new. So through this whole video, you're going to see me either yelling at them, trying to run from them, trying to get them to help, or vice versa, or them arguing with themselves. And again, I just want to apologize. We just woke up. Nobody's ready for the day. Um, I honestly don't even remember if I brushed my teeth, but we're going to YOLO it. Right here, I got all these items at the 99 cent store. I did not go anywhere else. Everything you see in this video, I got at the 99 cent store. I got these packages of sheets and I thought what a cool idea to go ahead and just drape my sofa in some sheets to give it that old feel when you go into a haunted house and everything is draped in sheets. So I got two king size sheet sets in white. I went ahead and put one of the sheets on one side and I'm just tucking it in trying to get it to fit to where it doesn't like hang on my floor. I opened up the other pack and went ahead and covered the other side of the sectional. And you can see my daughter. <laughs> my daughter's like wanting to play with everything she shouldn't be playing with. So I just told her go ahead and play with whatever it is you're wanting to play with. Um, she is my little mini me so you're gonna see her throughout the video probably right behind me. And yes, I sat on the sofa to try to get it to fit. Um, I didn't have enough sheets to go around the whole sectional, so I took the fitted sheet and just went ahead and fit it around the pillows and the cushion. I didn't need it to drape on the floor, so it actually worked out perfect that I got two sets. So if you do have a sectional, just remember that fitted sheet you are gonna have to use and get two sets of sheets. Um, I think they were like $5 for the whole pack. And I just put the rest of them away um, to store on a whole nother day. And here we go with me trying to make it perfect for some reason. And then my daughter's hiding. Um, it's a memorable moment. I also got these like roughed up, I don't even know what you call these, mesh or to be honest, I don't know what it is. I think they're supposed to look like really old, moth-eaten, dissolved curtains. So I got a lot of those. I got them in different colors. And then I also picked up some candles, some candlesticks, holders, um, some of this stuff. And here I go with my daughter walking, knowing I'm trying to make um, I put everything I wanted on my table, so that's not exactly how I'm leaving it, but I just put it there. And then I apologize that my video is so dark. For some reason, my camera wanted to give you the dark effect, I'm guessing. We're just going to go with it and just say that's what happened because I honestly don't know. And I'm yelling at my son to try to help me figure out to keep this in the middle before he goes to work and he's not cooperating because he doesn't know anything about what I'm talking about. And he obviously didn't even know where my tape was, so I had to get down, get my tape. I decided to tape it to the wall instead of putting holes. I did use double-sided um, UPS tape, which worked. It did the job. So as you can see, I know it's probably dark, but the type of look I'm going for, I just draped it from one side to the another. And um, I guess you can use this for anything. And you don't have to use this for the drapery of the windows. You can put it maybe in a doorway or over some furniture. Um, I did think about maybe putting it in the corner of my house where that little guy is hanging you know, right there. Uh, but my husband told me that was way too much and I needed to not overdo it, which I honestly, I don't think he knows what he was talking about at the time. But I wasn't about to argue because what's the point, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta pick and choose the battle. 
So here I went ahead and added everything I wanted to my mantle. So you can see I, ha I added another one of those fabric things to the mantle. And then I added my little skulls, my candles, everything again I got here at the 99 cent store. The picture frame that is actually in the middle is something I got done at Walmart years ago when Melania was born. So Amina is not even in this picture. But because it looked old and, you know, creepy looking, um, I thought it fit the occasion. So I took some of the spider web that the spider web material that you get. Um, I actually got this spider web stuff at Walmart. This is, I didn't get at the 99 cent store. I had to find it at Walmart. But if your 99 cent store doesn't hold any of these items, I recommend Amazon. You could probably get everything I got off of Amazon as well. And I'm just really placing it over everything and moving it around. It is very sticky, so it will stick to things. You don't need a lot of it. I would say a little goes a long way. Add a little bit and then move it around to your liking. As you can see, I just pick up some pieces and then just move it from side to side underneath, wrap it around, move it. It stuck to the fabric very well. Sorry, my dad. No respect, man, no respect. Anyways, so I'm just moving it around and Again, I'm just going for that spooky look, not so much of like a theme. Well, I guess it is a theme, but it's like a spooky theme. Um, I did get the candles. I got the bottled, I got the candles, the bottles, and the skulls, and then the little um, candle holder at the 99 cent store. And I just made sure I got two of each because I knew I was going to be placing them on different sides of the mantles and I didn't know if I was gonna put them on my table or just keep them on the mantle. And then I went ahead and picked up another piece and I'm just trying to have it all flow together. This actually, thank God I sped this up because I really spent like two hours doing this. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm a perfectionist and whenever I see one little thing that doesn't look right, I end up screwing the whole thing up. I don't know if any of you guys are like me, but yeah, sometimes I have to tell myself to not touch it because I'll make it worse than what it was in the first place. I had these um, candle, I don't even know what these are called to be honest, but I had these already. So these are something I got for Christmas and I was gonna paint them white and I decided I'll just go ahead and use them. I got these at Home Goods. So these were not purchased at the 99 cent store. If you are looking for some like this, Home Goods is probably the best bet or Amazon. Um, so I decided to go ahead and put them there and put some spider webs over them just to like fill out the space and they came out perfect. It worked out for the look. My house is very small so if you guys don't know I didn't need a lot of decorating so I think I spent a total of $50 decorating my house. I hope you guys enjoyed just a little sneak peek of everything and a little touch of a Halloween spirit for my kids and our family. My kids loved it. They felt like it was perfect and I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to know what you guys did with your house. Go ahead and comment below and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Thank you.